So when we collaborate with uh, with Malaysia, I would say uh, this story is about the Chinese four most important invention. Okay, um, they are the gunpowder, compass, printing, and and paper. Okay, but the story start out as you know when when the earth is born and the uh, the goddess of earth. Okay, this called Yu Yu Wa. Okay, she's the one who uh, used the ye yellow earth from the yellow river create uh, chi Chinese. So we are the uh, nationality of the ye 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 yellow earth. Okay, so being being the mother, I think being the mother is very very important. Okay, as I think uh, and also maybe I should say that. What the artists use, woman, in their art expression. I think in, in the in the history, okay, this is one one example. Another example is that uh, anybody recognize this painting? This is called Liberty Leading People, uh, painted by the French painter Eugene uh, De De Delacroix. Okay, now. In this painting, it's very, very striking. All the men, you know, is armed and, and fighting okay, in the revolution, but it's led by a great uh, art. Okay, so in this painting, you, you can say that it's almost saying, it's almost saying that this, the mother, is she almost said that Children follow me. Okay, so I think we should be very, very proud. No, no matter who else, who else tell you how small or, or not important, but being a mother is the most sacred and most in, in, in important job. And then in the modern society, I think the working mother is a super manager. Just imagine. Okay, if you, you can manage to uh, raise a family, take care of your husband, and also you have a full full time job, you know, I think we 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 have been through all all this. Okay, if I'm looking for a super manager, I would look uh, among the, uh, the 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 ladies. Okay, so I say that in the in the in the modern world. I think the working mother is the, uh, the great, great, greatest person in, in, in the world. So, <laughs> thank you for sharing your story. Could you just tell us when did you immigrate to the United States? Oh, I I came to uh, the United States in 1965. So she's been here this whole time and contributing to our our culture and our economy and. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you. Our next palace is Char Charlene Sawyer. Now she is a cultural artist and uh, director of the ballet of Asane. She will be our next uh, panelist. She has over 30 years experience as a producer and director and also is an accomplished videographer and graphic designer. She is considered to be a pioneer in Central Asian performing arts in Northern California, and is actually listed in the Wikipedia, all our kids look at Wikipedia, that's their Bible, as the most notable ensemble of Persian dance. Please welcome Ms. Sawyer. Thank you, Mary. Thank you all for being here today on the day that the the equinox changes and we spring ahead one hour, losing one hour. And also thanks so much to the Iranian Federated Women's Club and Pay Band Organization for arranging this wonderful panel, Harib and Nishad, and all my fellow panelists. I'm going to uh, step away from the podium here since I don't have anything to put on it. Uh, I just wanted to, first of all, introduce myself and what I do and also talk a little bit about what art is and creativity is in our lives today in America and in the Bay Area especially. 
a, such a creative place to live. Uh, Charlotte Sawyer, I am a dancer by calling, I would say, and an artist by passion and profession. I've also uh, worked as an educator, as an art specialist for nearly 20 years in the Bay Area, and as a graphic designer and in technology, and have an aptitude for computers, which I understand from some people tell me that this goes along with the creativity of an artist. I always attribute it to uh, spatial relationships. And when I say that, I'm talking about dance and choreography. And often we, we don't assume that we're creative, but yet, can I show, have a show of hands? How many people thought long and hard about how they would create their outfit for today? Just your, your clothing, the simple act of getting dressed and deciding, all those small creative decisions that we use every day in our lives. Uh, a very, very dear friend in the Indian community who's a fantastic classical dancer and musician once said that we in the Indian community describe dance as the architecture of time and space. And I thought that was a very wonderful concept, the architecture of time and space. So you're creating a shape in space which then moves through time and changes through time. So those concepts are very closely wedded. We draw on creativity and thinking outside the box as the sustenance for our humanity going forward, for all technological developments, for all unique thought. It's more it, it's easier, let's see, a wise person once said, I hope it was a woman, who once said, it is easier to teach a creative person how to use a tool than to teach creativity to someone who can use the tool. So I deeply believe and feel in some small way that my life is an example of a creativity, a creativity which can be applied to any search or discovery of knowledge. When our minds are open and we're able to think outside the box, then we have something that we can apply to every aspect of modern life. I believe that we're now beginning to see some pictures. I decided to just put a colorful display up rather than anything in words that we would have to read and have it speak about the work that I've done. I, again, I started dancing when I was quite a young girl, seven, six, seven years old, taking class. Started dancing professionally with various folklore groups when I was 12 and proceeded to have a wonderful performance career which lasted, thankfully, uh, even now I still end up performing when I'm not busy with the company. I've been involved in culturally specific dance the dance of the communities that, of Central Asia and the Mideast for my entire time. I was nine years old when I first heard Iranian music and just went crazy. I was lost. That was it. My heart was gone. I heard the music and that was it. I knew somehow deep inside me that I was called to that, to that particular love of that music and that art form. I began to study history, I began to be involved with the community and the various families that I met at that time, and one thing led to another. And in 1986, after having other company, we formed Ballet Afsane, which has been our dance company now for the last 20 plus years. In 1991, we, I like to describe it, someone handed me a box and said, Here's a nonprofit corporation for you. What would you like to do with it? And I learned from the ground up how to run a nonprofit, how to administrate a nonprofit, how to do fund accounting, how to create video and marketing materials. Everything that I have sourced in my life has come through my art. It was the inspiration for doing it. We have to produce a show. Therefore, we have to do this, this, and this. 
We have a goal in mind, therefore we need to get there creatively and as a team.